you go for me? You know, how come the guys that I want never want me? I have this fantasy of us as a power couple. Or maybe even just a couple. Betty. It's not my fault he doesn't like you. If that's what you're thinking, it's not anyone's fault. It's not even stupid Archie's. It's just how it is. Most of the time, the people we like don't like us back. Romeo and Julia are the exception and help the rule. I should go. When you're 30 and 12 years married, kids, career, then you'll be happy. Is that actually what you're saying? Um. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Isn't there something that can make you happy now? And then there's another kind of love. The cruelest kind. The one that almost kills its victims. It's called unrequited love. Of that, I am an expert. Most love stories are about people who fall in love with each other. But what about the rest of us? What about our stories? Those of us who fall in love alone. We are the victims of the one-sided affair. We are the cursed of the loved ones. We are the unloved ones. The walking wounded. The handicapped without the advantage of a great parking space. Okay. Here it is. Your choice, it's simple. Her or me. And I'm sure she's really great. But Derek. In a really, really big, pretend to like your taste in music, let you eat the last piece of cheesecake, hold a radio over my head outside your window, unfortunate way that makes me hate you, love you. So pick me, choose me, love me. I'm happy that you're happy. I am. When I see everything that you have, your home, your boyfriend, your kids, your life, it makes me feel so alone that I want to die. I'm in love with you. You're not in love with me. Don't say that. You don't even know me. Yeah, I do. Okay. Don't say that. But I can't give you the answer you want. Why? And I try so hard and... I'm never the one.